What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the United Love 01 High in this white and ghost grey colorway. United is an independent brand that I've reviewed on my channel a few times before in the past. They sell their very own sneakers, apparel, and accessories, all with a very positive and uplifting message. And this Love 01 High is their latest silhouette, which was pre-ordered back in December, and they finally have been arriving in people's hands throughout the past few weeks. So if you guys love supporting small independent brands, I urge you guys to check them out. Links to their Instagram and their website and all that good stuff is down below. And coming up on April 24th, they're opening up pre-orders for their next sneaker release, which is the Love 01 Low in the Meditate colorway for a price of 185 US dollars. And this pre-order window will be open for only a week. So back to these shoes, this pair is again is called the Love 01 High. And these retail for a price of 190 US dollars, which is approximately 240 Canadian dollars. And I believe right now on their website, they still have select sizes available in stock. And unlike their previous sneaker releases, this one is completely redesigned. And I gotta say, honestly, this is the most impressed I've been with any of their sneaker releases. It really feels like the company is taking that next step. And in hand, you can really tell that the quality and the craftsmanship, it just feels much better compared to the stuff they've released in the past. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. Just like the Love 01 Low Silhouette, this comes in a white-based cardboard box. We have this oversized handshake logo on the very top, along with the words Be United with these two happy faces on either side. And inside the box, the cardboard is colored in this red color, and we have the definition for unity printed on the top. As for the shoe itself, the silhouette has a very early to mid 80s vibe to it. And like a lot of sneakers made in that era, the upper is constructed predominantly out of leather. So on the toe box, we have this smooth white leather, and we have this heart-shaped punch out, which covers the entire width of this toe box. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have more of that smooth white leather. And then debossed on the lateral side, we have the signature handshake logo done in this gray color. This same white leather covers the eyelets of the shoe, and then overlaid on top of the mid panel, we have this oversized U for United, which is done in this white colored leather with a secondary layer of reflective 3M underneath. Moving downwards, we have this diagonal overlay of this gray colored suede, and above this surrounding the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that smooth white leather. And overlaid on the bottom of the heel, we have this heart-shaped suede overlay, and we have the phrase Be United embroidered in the back in white. And on the very top, we have another hit of gray colored suede, along with a small pull tab constructed out of this white colored leather. Hanging off the shoe, they also give you this blue colored hang tag, which has United branding on it, and this was a nice added bonus. And then turning our attention back to the front, so for the laces, these come with these flat white colored laces, and unfortunately, they only give you one lace option. Underneath this, we have your traditional retro style nylon tongue, and stitched on the top, we have this red tag with the United Handshake logo and their word mark. The inner collar of the shoe, I have to say, is very well padded, and it's lined in this gray colored nylon material, giving it the silky smooth finish. As for the insoles, these come with your typical foam line insole. It's finished with a red colored fabric on top, and we have United branding stamped on the heel in white. So the upper of the shoe sits atop top of this solid rubber cup sole, which is painted in this vintage looking cream color. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, we have these custom outsoles, which is done in this grayish tan colored rubber. We have the words Be United on the heel, along with Terry, their earth mascot on the forefoot. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these level one highs in this ghost gray color. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit me pretty much true to size, so I'd recommend sticking with your actual measured foot size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me great. Unfortunately, however, they were only released in full sizes. So I'd say if you're in between sizes, I'd probably recommend rounding up to the bigger size. So for example, if you're a nine and a half, I'd recommend going with a size 10. I feel like they run a little bit more snug than your typical Air Jordan 1 High, but that's partly because of this collar area, which I mentioned before, is extremely well padded. Next up in terms of the comfort, so these feel like any of your other retro shoes from the 80s. So they feel very stable, very low to the ground, but there's not too much from a step in comfort perspective. I feel like the majority of the comfort is coming from that foam line insole. And if you're asking me what shoes these are comparable to, I'd say it kind of feels like your typical dunk. So it's not gonna be great from a comfort standpoint, but for just an everyday casual use shoe, they're gonna be okay. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship on this pair. So first off, material quality, I thought it was decent. It definitely wasn't a super premium cut of leather, but like I mentioned before, compared to their past sneaker releases, I definitely think it's a step up. I thought the suede they used on the back of the shoe had this nice soft feel to it. So again, it's not great quality materials, but for a startup company, it's definitely not bad. And similarly, in terms of the overall build and the craftsmanship on this pair, I really had no major issues at all with my pair. There were some minor glue stains here and there, but nothing that was a real deal breaker. So I'd say it was pretty solid all in all.
So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Design-wise, I think United absolutely knocked this one out of the park. Like I mentioned before, this is probably my favorite sneaker they've released so far in their history. I think not only is the design very nice with this oversized U that really catches people's eyes, but I think the colorway is also very dope as well. It's a very clean, very basic, and very versatile colorway, and I think that little hit of red on the top of the tongue gives it that nice added pop of color. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this United Love 01 High in this ghost gray colorway. What are your overall thoughts on the design and the colorway of this shoe? And is this a pair you could see yourself rocking or is it not really your cup of tea? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram account at esco8. Check me out on my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca Before I end this video, another huge shout out goes out to United. So once again, if you guys are looking to support independent brands, I've added their website, their Instagram, all that stuff down below. So thank you everyone for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.